one? Oh, that's a great one. Comes out in kind of one big. It's like on the hunt. Thank you, Janae. That is just beautiful. Well, we road tripped again. This has been the summer of road tripping for us, and now we are up in northern Washington. We're north of Seattle. This is where my brother and his family live, and it is just gorgeous up here. Today, we are heading out berry picking. We found the berries. This place has raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. We're starting on raspberries. Did you find one? Yeah. Found nice. them. Good job. Then you put it in your bucket. Did you find one? Yes. Whoa, I didn't know they did that. Yeah, it's interesting to see how they grow, huh? They look for the most delicious, plump, juicy ones. Ooh, I see some back here. Look. Yes. That one's perfect. Yeah? Oh, that's a great one. Oh, Janae, that looks delicious. Growing up, my grandparents had raspberry bushes or plants, or whatever they're called, in their backyard, and so picking raspberries is particularly nostalgic and fun to me. Look how good this one is, Dad. Oh, man, that's perfect. Homes. Even though I'm excited that I found the babies that I don't want to eat, I'm just gonna still eat them. But I feel bad for them that we have to eat them. Luckily, berries aren't people. So in our family, we do grateful raspberries, which means we put the raspberries on our fingers and say what we're grateful for before we eat them. And grateful raspberries actually come from me doing that when I was out in my grandparents' backyard picking raspberries from their bushes. My grandpa would always put them on our fingers and we'd say what we were grateful for. So, thinking of him today for sure, good old granddad. They're so beautifully plump. It's fun to see how they grow. When they're perfect and ripe, they come right off of the stem. If you have to pull too hard, they're not ripe. Good one. Did you get some raspberries? Yep. I got like seven. You're gonna go pick some strawberries and blueberries now? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, here are the strawberries. Wow. Okay, so there's strawberries in here. Go find them. The juicy red one. Ooh, those are good oh, ones. Oh, guess what? I just found one. Nice. Oh, they're so beautiful. Good Very find, beautiful. Levi. Nice. Good find. I can make a wish in my mind. Okay. What was your wish? I can't tell her else it won't come true. Today is your wish to get a kitten? No, you didn't say it. You didn't say it. Just pick the beautiful blue ones. Whoa! How can you get this, Mom? Oh my goodness. There's so many. So what do you think of berry picking? It's so much fun. They're really like... They're a lot more blue than I feel like they are when we're actually eating them. All right, just under three pounds of blueberries. Yeah. That's my dessert every night. <laughs> now that we've paid for them, we're starting to uh, taste them. They are them. so good. We will be able to finish these in no time. We just got back from our berry picking and we made an amazing lunch. Isaac made the mac and cheese and Melanie and Elise and I made all the parts for a homemade salad. There's even a homemade like poppy seed dressing and all the fresh berries and we did candied pecans and there's goat cheese in it. Amazing. So do you like goat cheese? Yeah. I'm trying it. The last couple of times pecans. I didn't, but I think I'll like it. This time you might. Thanks for making the mac and cheese. They use it in, First course, mac and cheese. Yeah. Second course, salad. Look at the life. I actually like it. You like the strawberries you picked? So you're cutting the dough into two loaves. So once you've kind of cut through it, now take it and scoop it around the corner. Yeah, and then you're gonna take one of those lumps of bread, then scoop it out and plop it in one of these banetons. Well, in the what? Banetons. It's French. It's basically a rising basket that gives you the shape of the bread. So this one will be an oblong loaf, and this will be a circular. I don't know how to get it out. Comes out in kind of one big loop. Gloop. That's so you have the to French push. word for it. It's the French word, definitely. <laughs> go, Lisi, go! You got it? Yay! Yes! You did it! Okay. <laughs> what kind of bread are you making? Sourdough. Just deer. They're just chilling. This morning, we are coming out to a waterfall. It's called Snoqualmie Falls, and it's in Washington, and it's supposed to be awesome.
here. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever seen a waterfall this big? Mm -hmm. During the winter time, the amount of water going over it is much more. Yes. Yeah. Boys, what do you think? Check this out. This is a western red cedar. It's one of the most common evergreens that we have here. And you can tell what it is because the leaves are flat, unlike most pine trees, sort of, or evergreens. And then this smells a little bit like pineapple. As a tropical person, I don't know if I can endorse that as pineapple. No, no, no. It's a kind of like. <laughs> this is really beautiful. Janae's still smelling it. It does smell really sweet, doesn't it? <laughs> it's extra fun to go on a hike with locals because my brother is able to tell us all about the different plants we're seeing. It's cool how the tree is growing out of the trunk of the tree. What is it? An arthropleura. It's a caterpillar that's called an arthropleura. You end up with something like this, where the old tree finally rotted out, but the roots from the tree that grew on top of it are still existing. That it looks cool. crazy. So by the waterfall here, there's a hydroelectric plant. So these giant turbines turn around and make electricity. Look at the size of those pipes. This is so interesting. Looks like we should have brought a raft. I know, they know how to do it right. I think we can guarantee that Caleb will be getting wet. All right, Janae wants to walk in the water. Let's see how cold it is. Uh, it's actually not too bad. It's not too bad, not too cold. All right, Isaac and Caleb have been working to try to get on top of this rock. Janae found something in the water. What's it doing? Do you want to pick it up? <laughs> Oopsie daisies. <gasps> Can I get my shirt? Okay, I need a walk. Just drop it. Just drop it. Well, this one's mine. <laughs> that was a big jump. So their mission is to try to get across. You just can't drown. That's the only rules, okay? I know how to. Yeah, just go across. All right, you're now in, so you might as well just swim across now. Dang it. <laughs> My brother and I hiked up real quick and brought the cars back down, and we texted them to come up, and they said, no, we're still playing. Come back down. So I come down here, and guess who's the one still playing? It's Jeremy. They said the kids weren't done playing yet. They were talking about you. so then the rocks went good, but uh, it was so much fun. It's better than like going in a wave. Well, no, it's so much fun. So what are you doing out here? I'm weeding. I'm so proud of my kids. Um, we talked to them before we came to visit my brother and sister-in-law about how, you know, to remember that you're guests and to find ways to pitch in and help out. And after lunch, um, Laura cleared and wiped the table and Elise is sweeping up and helping me with the dishes and the boys volunteered to go out and do some weeding. And it's just really wonderful to see them working hard and, and trying to show ways to show appreciation to the people that are hosting us. Laura chose the playroom as her quiet time spot. Who are you teaching a class today? Uh -huh. I'm getting ready for a Spanish. You're gonna teach a Spanish class? Mm -hmm. To who? Lily. Yeah, your cousin, that's gonna be fun. Si, sí, pero, gato, pan, sol, me manzana. Ooh, those are the words you're teaching her? Mm -hmm. But I also have all these. Si, sí, leche, manzana, pan, gracias. Nice, you have a beautiful accent. Gracias. <laughs> 
the footage is funny sometimes. <laughs> there we go. This is family reunion footage. <laughs> Are you excited to get more into editing? Yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> Now Isaac's in the driver's seat, and Jeremy's riding co-pilot. I think you can just leave that separate. It's time to do laundry. We do a lot of laundry even when we're on vacation. The way we do it is I only bring one week's worth of clothes, and so then we just wash it. My sister-in-law has a really high capacity washer though, so I'm loving this. Is that like uh, all don't of show our them all of our dirty laundry. Is that like all of it? Yeah, all of it. That's amazing. At home, the big kids do their laundry on their own, but when we're traveling, I just do it and then I help them fold. I'm trying to do, do a rainbow kick. Hey, it went up. Hey. Well, we really like Washington. It's beautiful. Caleb has been helping with the sprinkler. We're gonna go on a walk. A little evening walk in the neighborhood. It is like on the hunt. No, no, no this is not a good book because it has no pictures. Melanie and I are headed out on kayaks tonight. The dads are putting the kids to bed and it is gorgeous out here. We're hurrying to get on the water as quick as we can. We still got a little bit of sunlight left. So we got the kayaks down and we're gonna launch them out. It has been a long time since I've been out on a kayak and this feels beautiful. The lake is so quiet tonight. Okay, I'm really nervous. I'm gonna drop my phone in the water. So this is the last video I am taking, but it is so beautiful out here and it is so calm and it just feels good to be doing something that I really enjoy and being out in nature. <sighs> I feel like I can just like take a big exhale. Good night, J House out. I'm a scientist. I can't give up. This is a real beehive.